Hey guys, this is Moogan Lord here, and we back again with some more Final Fantasy 16 news. It was only a matter of time that we get a new gameplay trailer. So before we dive into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button because it definitely helps me out here on YouTube. And also don't forget to hit that bell to be notified for more JRPG news here on this channel. So we're going to dive into it. Now, it was only a matter of time before we actually get a brand new trailer for Final Fantasy 16. Many people was waiting for Yoshi P to pretty much hit that button for the next reveal to see what we want to know of the story, its characters, maybe see some more gameplay and get a chance to understand how the world of Final Fantasy 16 is all going to play out. And as of course, definitely after looking at the trailer, the name of the trailer is called Ambitious and it really looks ambitious. It looks definitely really, really impressive. Not going to lie on that forefront. And like I said, it's from the developers behind Final Fantasy 14. So Business Unit 3, these guys know what they're doing and you can definitely see some of the similarities as far as the character designs, Joshua himself. Now, in this video, as far as the trailer is concerned, we've getting an understanding of how the world actually works and what's entailed in this world. Now, as we can see here in the trailer, they are introducing the different kingdoms um, found in this world. And what's interesting is each kingdom pretty much, I would say, have a crystal of their own. And it seems like 16 is definitely going back into that traditional Final Fantasy route where it more so focused around the crystals, which I found really interesting. It seems like Yoshi P is definitely, he really loves that era of Final Fantasy compared to the more modernized Final Fantasy that pretty much strayed a bit away from the, I guess you could say, uh, medieval fantasy and, you know, good versus evil and the power of the crystals. So it seems like they're definitely revisiting um, that, but with a different twist. And I, We'll say this, even though Final Fantasy X focused on summons, it seemed like the summons are definitely playing a much bigger role in this game. And I like the different approach that they're taking with this for the simple fact is these nations all have their, I guess you could say their own avatar or their own summon that pre pretty much represent their nation. Kind of like it reminds me of the anime Naruto where the Naruto, each nation, Shinobi nation has their own Jinjiriki um, tail beast um, and in this case in this situation it seems like we may have this situation here as well where nations have their own uh, avatar that pretty much has the summon that's held with inside them which is I think it's pretty cool so this whole war of the nations and the power the struggle of power and everything I think is going to be pretty um, cool and I can't wait to see how dark this story is going to get because we see a lot of blood we see a lot of violence and sex in a Final Fantasy game which is definitely definitely going with this more approach mature approach with this title now the only thing like I said before you guys already know how I feel about how the gameplay and how they're going to approach it I'm really not too fond of it, and it seems like this game is going to be a definitely an action-heavy game, more than even Final Fantasy VII Remake itself. Um, they got the creative director or the combat director of, you know, Dragon's Dogma, Devil May Cry, so you're definitely going to see some of that inspiration found there um, as well as far as the combat is concerned. And the fact is that we're only going to have one uh party member which is the main character joshua himself that you're going to be playing as um in this game with the assistance with the assistance of the abilities from the uh summonings themselves now i don't know how the summoning battle is going to play is it going to be a quick time event because that's what it seems to appear that it may be like a quick time event but we won't have to wait and see because it seemed like they really still haven't really put any heavy emphasis on how the combat is going to work how it's going to essentially play once you get into the summoning battles um of the game we just want to just wait and see um when a later trailer come out now the thing that really got me the most is its release date um for this game we're getting a summer 2023 release and i believe final fantasy 7 rebirth is also releasing so we're going to be getting two final fantasy mainline titles coming all out at once um in a year so I'm not sure. We haven't gotten a release date yet for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I believe that may end up being a holiday release. So we'll have Final Fantasy 16 
um, as the game that will pretty much hold us off for the entire summer leading into the holiday. And it seems like Square Enix is really on a ball here uh, with their JRPGs uh, released in 2023. It's going to be quite competitive. It's going to be quite crowded. And I'm all for it, especially as a JRPG fan. Now, whether or not will I get Final Fantasy 16, because I would like to see some more, more importantly, the gameplay itself. Is it going to be um, somewhat like an open world, not an open world, open world that we see from, you know, Ubisoft and other games that's out there? Will we have that open zone where, you know, you have these big locations that you just traverse that feel like big open world environments? I definitely want to see how that's going to play out. I want to see the NPCs. I want to see villages. I want to see how massive the terrains are uh, when it comes to this game. And then more importantly, how the combat is going to feel how it's going to look it seems like they've really been holding back to really show us how it's actually going to play out and i think they're doing it for a reason because they're going to probably have a specific video that's going to be tailored towards that and i'm all for that and i think that's going to be the thing that's going to help me decide whether or not i will play this game because like i said the game looks gorgeous i know the story is going to most likely be good it's just the gameplay it just doesn't feel like final fantasy from the surface it looks like a final fantasy game but everything all together when you look at from what's being seen here is just it's not final fantasy it seems like it can be its very own um unique ip to itself or whatever like that so we want to wait and see how it's going to play out and plus it'll be good content if i end up grabbing the game so i can definitely give you my overall thoughts and how i feel about the direction of how final fantasy and where it's heading um, as a series altogether. And if you haven't checked out my previous video where Square Enix talked about that they really don't know what to do with Final Fantasy as a brand altogether. They kind of confused in where they want to take it um, moving forward into the future. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out as well. But that pretty much wraps up this video. That's all I pretty much have to say. The trailer looks impressive. The voice acting is, is amazing in my opinion. And I'm overall curious about the story um, and how it's going to play out since we still don't have a clue of what's going on here in, in full context. So if you like the video, as I said before, hit that like button because liking the video, you don't even have to comment. Just simply hitting that like and dislike shows you too that you guys are fully engaged in my content and it definitely pushes my video and the channel itself and recommend it to the YouTube community and the algorithm. Definitely helps me out. Big kudos to that. And also, I'll repeat it again, hit that bell to be notified for more RPG news or fighting game news in the near future. This is Mugen Lord, signing off. I'll see you game fiends later. Peace out.